In this video, we're going to look at how to solve advanced absolute value equations that involve two or more absolute value expressions. So this video is as a result of three of my subscribers who requested that I should do a video on this topic. And these subscribers are Kakilas, Richardson, and Carlos. I apologize to you guys for bringing this video late. I hope this video will still be useful to you and other people. Alright, so the first question that we have says, solve the equation. So we have this absolute value equation that we are supposed to solve. Now, what is the first thing that you are supposed to do? The first thing that you are supposed to do is to find the critical values of the expressions that you've been given in the absolute value. So for us to find the critical values, we are going to equate each of these expressions to zero. So what we are going to have is x plus 1 is equal to 0. Also, x minus 5 is equal to 0. Subtract 1 on both sides. Then here, add 5 on both sides. Then we have x is equal to, because this becomes a 0, negative 1. And then x is equal to, this becomes a 0, positive 5. So we have these two critical values. Now, what is the next step that you are supposed to do? The next step is to draw the number line and plot these critical values on the same number line. So what we are saying is we are going to draw the number line like this, then plot these uh, critical values on the number line. So the smallest critical value is negative 1. Negative 1 is on the left, so we're going to put it here, negative 1. Then the higher critical value is positive 5, so positive 5 is here. So now we are going to create intervals using these critical values. So since this is negative 1, we're going to consider the interval from negative infinite up to and excluding negative 1. Then in the next interval, we are going to consider negative 1 up to and excluding 5. Then the next interval, we are going to consider positive 5 up to positive infinite. Okay? Like this. Next, you are going to see that in the first interval, both this expression and this expression are going to be negative. So we're going to write them like this. Uh, negative of x plus 1. And then negative of x minus 5. So, sorry, this is negative. So this is because you are, the interval is from negative infinite up to and excluding negative 1. So... In between here, if you pick any number that is less than negative 1 and replace it there, you are going to see that you are going to produce a negative of this, a negative number. Next, what will be the value of this expression for any number that is less than 5? If you replace any number that is less than this critical value here, you are going to see that this expression will be positive. So this expression will remain positive. For example, if you get a 2 and put it there, 2 plus 1 will be positive 3, which is a positive. Any number that is going to be less than negative 5, but not uh, less than negative 1, is going to be positive. Now, what is the value of this expression for any number that is less than this critical value 5? For example, if you get a 2 and put it there, you are going to see that this will, be, this will give you a negative number. A negative answer again if you get if you replace a, a, a positive one you are going to see that you get a, a, a negative number again if for example if you replace negative one you still get negative so meaning this expression in in this interval is going to be uh, negative so you have x negative x minus five like this then the final interval from positive 5 up to and excluding infinite, you are going to see that all these expressions are going to be positive. So you have x plus 1, x minus 5. They are going to be positive 
like this. All right, so let's just rewrite this equation. So we have x plus 1 plus the absolute value of x minus 5 is equal to 10. All right, so we are going to pick these as they are. We're going to say negative of this minus negative of that and equate them to 10 and then solve. So negative x plus 1 then minus this minus x minus 5 is equal to 10. So negative times x is negative x. Negative times positive 1 is minus 1. Then here we have minus x. Then plus 5 is equal to 10. Then like terms together, negative x minus negative x is negative 2x. Then negative 1 plus 5 is plus 4. Positive 4 is equal to 10. Then we take away 4 on both sides of this equation. Then we are going to have negative 2x is equal to, because this beca has become a 0, 10 minus 4 is 6. Then divide by negative 2 on both sides. Then we see that x is equal to negative 3. So we are saying x is equal to negative 3. So we come and write it here. x is equal to negative 3. Now you ask yourself a question. Is negative 3 lying in this interval, within this interval? The answer is yes. Because it's yes, we are going to tick like that. Then next, we are going to collect these expressions as they are. So we have this minus this, and then equate them to 10. So we are going to have uh, this x plus 1, which is positive. Then minus this, minus x minus 5 is equal to 10. Then we'll have x plus 1 minus x plus 5 is equal to 10. Then x minus negative x. So these x's are cancelling because one of them is positive and the other one is negative. So they are subtracting each other. Then 1 plus 5 is 6 is equal to 10. Now when you look at this, this is not a correct statement. So we're going to say not a correct statement so meaning in here we're going to put an x like that to say there is no solution in this okay there's no solution in this interval next we're going to so to add these also and determine whether the answer is lying in, in there so we have x plus one this is a plus okay plus x minus five is equal to 10. Then here we have x plus 1 plus x minus 5 is equal to 10. x plus x is 2x. Then 1 minus 5 is minus 4 equals 10. Add a 4 on both sides. So we have 2x. Then this becomes a 0 is equal to 10 plus 4 is 14. Divide by 2 on both sides. Then we have x is equal to 7. So we're going to write x is equal to 7. So you're going to ask yourself, is 7 within this interval? The answer is yes. So meaning you have the values of x as negative 3 and 7. Okay, so you're going to conclude and say, therefore, the solutions to the equation, the absolute value of x plus 1 plus the absolute value of x minus 5 are x is equal to negative 3 and x is equal to 7. Alright, if you are with me up to this point, it means you are enjoying what I'm doing. Why can't you subscribe, hit the like button, comment, and share? Alright, here is the next question. Feel free to pause the video and try it out and then compare your answers with the answers that we're going to find at the end. 
All right, so the first thing is to find the critical values. So we have 3x plus 4 is equal to 0. Also, x minus 2 is equal to 0. So we are going to have 3x is equal to negative 4. Then x is equal to negative 4 thirds. Then here we are going to have x being equal to positive 2. So we have these two critical values. Then next we are going to, to draw the number line. And then uh, negative 4 thirds is here. Negative 4 thirds is here. Then this is going to be here. So next we come up with an interval. So we are moving from negative infinite to negative 4 thirds. But excluded negative four thirds is in, is excluded then from negative four thirds up to and excluding two then two up to and excluding positive infinite all right so just as we did in the previous example so this expression is going to be negative for any value that is going to be less than negative four thirds so uh, this expression is going to be negative so put a negative 3x plus 4 then even this one that is inside is going to be negative for any value that is going to be less than four thirds so you're going to have negative x minus 2 again this expression is going to be positive for any value that is going to be less than this critical value but not less than negative four thirds so this is going to be positive so we're going to have three x plus four as a positive expression then this expression is going to be negative for any value less than this critical value for example, if you put a 1 there, which is less than this, you're going to see that eh, what you get a negative answer. So you have, an, you, this expression is going to be negative, like this, uh, x minus 2. Then, here everything is going to be positive. Here everything is going to be positive. So we're going to have uh, 3x plus 4, and then x minus 2. All right, let's just rewrite this equation here. So we have the equation 3x plus 4 minus x minus 2 is equal to 2. Next, we begin to solve by combining these as they are. So we are going to have negative 3. Okay, negative 3x plus 4 then we are having a minus sign so you need to be careful with with when you are subtracting when you have a minus sign here so here you have a minus sign and a minus sign so meaning you are going to have a positive okay so you need to be very careful on that then x minus 2 is equal to 2 so we solve this now so we are going to have negative 3x minus 4 plus x minus 2 is equal to 2. Negative 3x plus x is minus 2x. Then negative 4 minus 2 is minus 6 is equal to 2 plus 6 this side and then plus 6 this side. We are having negative 2x. This becomes a 0 is equal to positive 8. So divide by negative 2, negative 2, then x is equal to negative 4. You come and write here x is equal to negative 4. Then you ask yourself, is negative 4 falling within this interval? The answer is yes. So you give a tick like that. Then you come to this, so you're going to have 3x plus 4. Then here you have a minus, and this minus you have a positive. x minus 2 is equal to 2. So now we are going to have 3x 
plus 4, then plus x, minus 2 is equal to 2, 3x plus x is 4x, then 4 minus 2 is positive 2 is equal to 2, minus 2 minus 2, so you have 4x, this becomes a 0 is equal to 0, which gives x as 0, x is 0, so x is 0. Then you ask yourself, is 0 within this interval? The answer is yes. Alright, next we are going to add these two expressions. So we are going to have uh, 3x plus 4, so 3x plus 4. Then this one is a positive, is also positive. But remember here, on the original equation, you have a minus here. So you need to be very careful here. So you're going to say positive times negative, the negative will win. So you're going to have minus x minus 2 is equal to 2. Okay, so now we're going to have 3x plus 4. Then minus x plus 2 is equal to 2. Then 3x minus x is 2x. Then positive 2x plus 2 is positive 6 is equal to 2. Then you have 2x. This is minus 6, minus 6 on both sides. This becomes a 0 is equal to negative 4. Divide by 2 on both sides to get the value of x. So x is equal to negative 2. You come and write it here. So x is equal to negative 2. Now you ask yourself, is negative 2 falling in this interval? You can see that the, this is a positive interval. There is no, no negative number here. So meaning x, this x value is wrong. Okay? Meaning this x value is wrong. So meaning you have solved this absolute value equation. So you are going to conclude and say, therefore... The solutions are to the equation 3x plus 4, which is this one, then minus x minus 2 is equal to 2r. So the solutions, you are going to pick these. x is equal to negative 4. So x is equal to negative 4 and x is equal to 0. So... If you want, so if you want, you can replace these values in the original equations, equation and then you will be able to see that it will give you positive 2. If you replace this in there, you get a 2. Also, if you replace this in there, you get a 2. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you are new to this channel, please consider to subscribe once again. Hit the like button, comment and share. And feel free also to suggest topic in the next video we're going to look at solving advanced absolute value equations involving three absolute value expressions so look out for that video goodbye